When you think about top models today, names like Kendall Jenner, Gigi Hadid, and Bella Hadid come to mind. And a lot of the talk around these people's names is because their success isn't just due to their talent. And lately there's been a growing conversation on social media and TikTok where rising models are coming out to talk about the fact that there is just way too many Nepo babies in the modeling industry. It's making it way harder for them to break out in the industry and even get a chance. Nothing could make me change my point of view. Oh girl. Kind of feels like nepotism is ruining the modeling world and by extension entertainment at large but let's dive into why what's up youtube it's tiny c and welcome to my digital garden <laughs> The modeling world is known for a lot of things and it's not always pretty, but there was a time in history when modeling was a bit more about discovery, finding new fresh faces and making a name for yourself. We remember the supermodel era of the 80s and 90s where names like Naomi Campbell and Kate Moss were able to get ahead and they did not have any big families backing them. It was just their talent and being able to be scouted and be in the right place at the right time. Those days seem to largely be over. Today, it's not really about being the best at your craft, it's more so about your last name. I mentioned Kendall Jenner in the beginning of the video and I think she's a perfect example of it not being about talent anymore. It's not because she's untalented, it's because she does have the right last name. And matter of fact, a lot of models do give Kendall her props. They say that she's really good for being an Epo baby and not having to sort of grind it out at the bottom with the rest of them. But I still think that her name contributed to a lot of the success that she sees today and why she was able to be in certain places, talk to certain people and get that help to get to where she is today. But what surprises a lot of people is that she doesn't think that her name had anything to do with her rise to fame. Kendall says Kardashian name didn't help her career. Kendall Jenner has previously spoken out how she wants to make it as a model on her own. And she said, in reality, I worked pretty hard for this, running around doing tests. It wasn't like I just got it magically and it has just happened. And when asked why she wanted to be a model, Kendall said, I would always be looking at these supermodels. They were just so amazing to me. They were like superheroes. I wanna be some little girl superhero. I want to be the best role model I can be to a little girl or a little boy or to anybody. And to be honest, this was an interview that was done quite a long time ago in 2014. Having a powerful family does afford you privileges that other models do not get. They're just not going to experience the same thing as someone that's the child of millionaires, the sister of millionaires. You're just not entering the game on the same level. And even on the Kardashians, we saw how Kim was just really backing Kendall's modeling career. She was bringing her to her modeling practice. She was able to get her gigs. It's hard to say it's not nepotism when we saw for our own eyes on the Kardashians that Kim was helping her out and was a big backing force in getting her into the modeling industry. And a lot of models have to pay out of their own pocket to get these sorts of lessons. I'm not sure how Kendall feels about this now, if she's able to look at her career more holistically and say, yeah, maybe my family name did help me out a little bit. Because I think this probably rubbed models the wrong way, just knowing that they're struggling out there and this person that has so much privilege is not willing to admit and take accountability for the fact that they have a leg up. Because on the other hand, we have a model like Gigi Hadid, who is also a Nepo baby of sorts, and she is able to admit that, yeah, my family name has definitely helped me in the field. Gigi Hadid admits she's a Nepo baby. I'm not the prettiest person in the world. <laughs> That's a funny title. Gigi Hadid has admitted to being a Nepo baby, saying she doesn't think of herself as the prettiest person in the world. The supermodel is considered to be one of the most successful runway stars in the world, along with her sister, Bella Hadid. But even she admits to having some much needed help to get to the top. Technically, I'm a nepotism baby. My parents came from very little. I've always acknowledged that I come from privilege. If you are able to take accountability for that unfair portion and say, yeah, it's unfair, people will feel a bit more at ease. But even if they take accountability, the fact still stands that they were able to bypass a lot of the hardships other models had to go through because of their family name. And I think nepotism solidifies one thing, and that is that connections beat talent. 
And that's not just a problem for the modeling industry, that's a problem for society at large. It makes it seem like no matter how skilled you are, the doors won't open unless you know somebody. And that can really plant a sad seed in society if everyone feels like if they don't have connections, nothing can really happen for them. There's something fundamentally broken when we prop up those who already have a whole bunch. Fashion brands, rather than scouting out fresh talent, the abundant fresh talent, they chase after Nepo babies because it's easier and because it gets them guaranteed eyes on their product. And that equals guaranteed sales. Take Sunday Rose Kidman, for example. She had her runway debut in the Miu Miu fashion show in this 2024 season. But her debut was met with criticism, not only because it was an obvious display of nepotism, but because they felt as though her skills did not warrant her being a part of such a prestigious show. And unfortunately, people on TikTok were tearing this poor girl apart. She's only 16 years old and her parents threw her to the wolves. I hope she was prepared for this. And this creator said, I'm sure she's sweet, but nepotism has made the modeling industry a joke, which a lot of people are saying. They're arguing that it really cheapens the brand, not only for the modeling industry, but also for these fashion houses, because why do they feel as though they have to rely upon a Nepo baby in order to sell? And Miu Miu has been around for such a long time and it has such history and just, it already has a loyal fan base. It does feel like it was a cheap trick to think that they had to do this in order to maybe bring in a new audience or bring new eyes onto the brand. And this comment says, putting her in the shows achieved what Miu Miu wanted. Everyone's talking about their show. Sounds like a success to me. And they didn't lie. Yes, unfortunately, these cheap tricks work. People start to talk about it because it's just so ridiculous. We can't help ourselves. We love a good ridiculous moment and we grab onto it. It's one of those marketing tactics that as annoying as it is and how unfair it is for other models, they're probably gonna keep doing it because it works every time. People said, and she opened the show. And she did in fact open the show, which is a feat that takes years and years for models that are in the industry to do. It's not a light matter from what I've researched. It's not something that comes easily. And so I understand the outrage that this 16 year old that some people believe can't even walk is opening a Miu Miu show. And in the long run, this stifles creativity. Instead of pushing boundaries, discovering new talent and truly pushing the boundaries, they're using the same tired formula. Hire someone with a famous last name and call it a day. And as a result, the fashion world becomes narrower, less diverse, and more exclusive, all while the real talent remains overlooked. Now we have to think about this from the perspective of an aspiring model. I've heard so many horror stories, so many hardships that these models have to go through. The modeling world is not pretty and they definitely don't make it easy for these aspiring models. They spend years trying to perfect their walk, their poses and their looks. And a lot of the times they're facing rejection after rejection. And sometimes it might be because they're not connected to the right person. There's one model in particular that's on TikTok and they speak out about nepotism in the modeling industry and just the struggles that a lot of these models have to go through. For the past couple of days, I've been talking about Nepo babies in the modeling industry and I'm back again to talk more about nepotism in the modeling industry and just general unfairness in the modeling industry. It's been super interesting to see everyone's opinions. They've been kind of like people sucking up to Nepo babies, acting as if Nepo babies are gonna say thank you to them. Or it's been other models coming forward and being like, hey, I experienced this too. I feel the same way, whether that's in my DMs or in comments, etc. Or it's just people saying you need to shut up. You're a model. No one cares. The industry's been corrupt and it's always going to be that way, which I do. I do agree with. I think that industry has been corrupt and I want to like put that out there. I'm not naive. The modeling industry famously is not a good place to be for your mental health. But I think that that, you know, saying that it's never going to be fixed or just assuming that you're going to be treated badly is entering a cycle that could be broken. I think it's important to try your best to use your voice um, and I'm very happy to use mine. And I think that is like an issue that I've seen in the modeling industry when I've complained about, 
you know, being mistreated. I get told that I'm a model and that I should shut up. It's what I signed up for. And I think that's dumb. I'm really proud to be fighting for I'm going to pause there because I think that what they're saying about people just trying to shut you up because, hey, you're a model, you made it, is so true across so many industries. People just say, oh, we'll be quiet because you made it, you're in the door, and now just deal with it. And that's not how anything changes in society. That's not how anything gets better by just saying, that's how it is, deal with it. And I think trying to fight for what you believe in or at least start a conversation is always the right mindset to have. Because even if you're not changing the whole world with one TikTok video, you're trying, you're attempting, at least you're doing something. Models like fair treatment and nepotism and nepo babies is just a sector of that. So I got this comment basically saying that nepo babies aren't in the trenches doing unglamorous showrooms, fittings or endless e-com looks hoping to pay off their debts either. And that's the truth. Nepo babies don't experience that side of the modeling industry. And I don't hold it against them. And I don't want to get across that like I don't like Nepo babies. Because if I ever meet a Nepo baby, I don't want it to be awkward. Because I don't hate them. I don't. I think that they just have a leg up in an industry where a lot of people don't have a leg up. You know, you have endless contacts and you have comfort and you have a safety net. A lot of working models, you need to actualize what you're saying, right? A lot of models get scouted when they're like 16 years old. And you have to be on call all of the time. So from the age of 16 to maybe now you're 22, you maybe haven't got another, like a normal nine to five job because you've always had to be on call as a model. And you've seen how much money you can get from being a model. So you're waiting for that call. That is what Nepo babies don't have to experience because they've had that money. They have something to fall back onto i.e. an apartment in London that they don't have to pay rent on. It's just a different- And I think this is a really good point to call out because they're kind of speaking to that point of imagine how it is for aspiring models. Imagine how it is for someone coming in and trying to get there and then just seeing someone kind of fly by and not have to experience any of the hardships. Of course, there's nothing a Nepo baby can do about that, right? Like it's just the lot that they were handed in life. You shouldn't hate on them for that. You can't really fault them for having that privilege that they were born with, but I think more so just trying to put yourself in the mindset and try to empathize with all these other models that are trying to get there and having to simultaneously see a lot of just the corruptness of the world. And the end of the day, it does feel a bit corrupt that some people are just able to bypass this super hard part of a field. And you can really appreciate some of these other models out there that didn't have that and still somehow were able to become supermodels to imagine just how hard it probably was for them and like how tremendous of an effort it actually was. I think it's also interesting when I get comments on my page, you know, saying that I should give up or I'm not successful. People don't recognize me. People don't know who I am. I haven't done campaigns. And all of that's true, bitch. You don't know me. I, I haven't done many campaigns, but that doesn't mean that I'm not a model. I think a lot of you lack intelligence. It's a little bit scary. I am making these videos for people that are in the position that I'm in, people that are wanting to get work. When we see people that are getting work, a lot of the time it's nepotism models and celebrities. That's what's frustrating to us models. Models that are on my wavelength. I am not doing campaigns for Balenciaga, Gucci and Dior. That is not the modeling category that I am fitting in. If you can't understand that there are models in the modeling industry that aren't modeling for Balenciaga, then I think that you need to educate yourself on the modeling industry. And so the more you really dig into the modeling industry, just the crazier and crazier that it seems. And I feel like the nepotism problem on top of it definitely does not help. And in 2022, Lily Rose Depp made some comments that had the modeling world up in a frenzy. Lily Rose Depp, the Chanel muse and daughter of Johnny Depp and Vanessa Paradis, made headlines this week after trying to set the record straight about nepotism allegations. In the interview with Elle, she said, the internet cares a lot more about who your family is than the people who are casting you in things. Maybe you get your foot in the door, but you still just have your foot in the door. There's a lot of work that comes after that. These comments probably just felt a bit I don't know, condescending. I'm not sure if that's the word. It probably feels as though she's not acknowledging all of the privilege that she's afforded because of her last name. And so this model, Anakiai, weighed in on this whole debacle. And she posted this on her story saying, 
Just want to share a thought here because I can. I bumped into an interview of a so-called Nepo baby or whatever y'all call it. Basically a privileged daughter, son, cousin, niece, nephew, whatever of some kind of celebrity. Let me tell you something. <laughs> yes, I get the whole, I'm here and I work hard for it, but I would really love to see if you would have lasted through the first five years of my career. Not only being rejected because I know you have an experience with it and you can tell me your sad little story about it, even if at the end of the day, you can still always go cry on your dad's couch in your villa in Malibu, but how about not being able to pay for your flight back home to your family? Waiting hours to do a fitting just to see a Nepo baby walk past you from the warm seat of her Mercedes with her driver and her assistant taking care of her mental health. You have no idea how much you have to fight to make people respect you. It takes years. You just get it by free day one. I have many Neville baby friends whom I respect, but I can't stand listening to you compare yourself to me. I was not born on a comfy, sexy pillow with a view. I know it's not your fault, but please appreciate and know the place you came from. And she even talks about how there was this perceived notion that I had the upper hand. I can tell you it was quite the opposite, she wrote. Words can't even explain the feeling of being a young new face, having to navigate an industry full of powerful, influential people and feeling like you are nothing. I will see some of you privileged kids stress about not booking a job because of the impact of your career, while there are those of us who stress about not booking a job because we don't know if we'll be able to take care of our parents this month or put our siblings through school. Seeing people benefit from nepotism doesn't bother me at all. What does bother me is when the power players in the industry pretend to act ignorant to the fact. If if you only knew the hell we go through just to be able to stand in the same room that you were born in. And she posted a lot more about this topic. And I think her words were very powerful and it hits directly on the fact you don't hate them for the fact that they were born into the right place. It's more so about when they act ignorant about the fact that they were born into the right room. And it sort of just makes everyone feel yucky inside because it's like, why are you pretending that you struggled? I know Kiai was able to make it to those same rooms that these Nepo babies have made it to, but that is definitely not the story that all models have. And so for them, it feels as though they are not going to be able to break through that ceiling because they don't have the right name tied to them. We focused on modeling, but we just know that this conversation relates to so many other industries and connections mean more and more and more as we move forward in society. I don't think this goes without consequence, not in a sense that I think will actually change anything, but more so for the mental health of society. A lot of people will start to feel like there's no point. A lot of people will start to feel like if they don't have connections, there's just no use. I don't think it's going anywhere, but I do think that talking about it, we can at least recognize that a lot of these practices are unfair and maybe we should be thinking about this is something that we want to lean into as hard as we do. But what do you guys think about the modeling nepotism issue? Do you think it'll ever go away? Leave your comments in the comment section down below. If you made it this far, please post the Sakura flower emoji. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next deep dive.